OK, so today we're going to talk about web browsers for out of date systems. What's the best one to use if you've got a Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 system, whereas none of the mainstream browsers are no longer supported on them. Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So today I'm going to show you a browser that will work. In actual fact, it will work with Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, 8 and 8.1. And it's got all the latest security updates. As a bonus, you can even sync it with Google Chrome. If you had a Google account before, if you saved all your passwords or your bookmarks, then this will allow you to bring those back into this browser. So as you can see here, I'm running Windows 7 and it says as of January 14th, 2020, which was over four years ago now, support for Windows 7 has come to an end. Your PC is more vulnerable to viruses, malware due to no security updates, no software updates and no tech support. And they're recommending we go up to Windows 10. But Windows 10, the support for that is ending in 2025, October 2025. So really, we should be going to Windows 11. Now, I would I've got to say, first of all, Yes, you shouldn't still be running an older system. You should be running a system of Windows 10 or above as of March 2024. Older systems are more vulnerable. And even though this browser has the latest security updates, it doesn't mean to say that you're completely safe because there are no updates for the operating system itself. So if a hacker wants to get in, it could use a vulnerability of the system and get in through the operating system rather than through the browser. So please do bear that in mind. You're not 100% safe, even if you are using an up-to-date browser, which is what this is. So I'm just going to click Remind Me Later on here. That takes us to the desktop. Now, I should say, if you're running Windows XP or Windows Vista, you do need quite a powerful machine to do this. And you'll probably need to download this original file from a more modern machine, first of all, put it on a memory stick and then plug it into your Windows XP machine and install it from there. So even though it does run on older machines, I've found on Windows XP and Windows Vista, it doesn't run too well. It tends to pause quite a lot. It tends to hang quite a lot and it crashes a lot more. But if you've got Windows 7, Windows 8 or 8.1, it should work absolutely fine, glitch free. So what I would suggest is, is go into your most modern browser that you've got on your system. In my case, it's Microsoft Edge because unfortunately downloading just doesn't seem to work anymore in Internet Explorer. So I'm going to go into Microsoft Edge now. Again, if you haven't got a modern browser on your system, then the best thing to do is to probably download this from a more modern machine, put it on a memory stick and transfer it across that way. So, so Windows 7 has got Microsoft Edge, which should be fine for me. So once it's loaded, go into the address bar right at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle, the address bar right at the top. Click in there, delete out anything that might be in there and type in there cwtek.co dot uk forward slash wd so that's cwtek.co.uk forward slash wd then press enter or return on your keyboard if you've typed in the address correctly then you should see my windows downloads if there is a message comes up about cookie notices accept that or manage your choices there scroll down and what we're looking for is we are looking for under web browsers, Supermium. So move your mouse over that, left click once. If an advert comes up, close the advert down and then we should go to this page here. Scroll down and what we're looking for is under assets, these files here, the ones we've set up in them. Now, depending on what type of system you've got, depends on which file you download, whether it be 32 or 64. Now, this 
pertains to whether it's a 32-bit system or a 64-bit system. So generally, if you're running Windows XP or Windows Vista, then you're probably going to find that it's a 32-bit system. So I would download the 32 setup, this one here. If you're running Windows 7, 8, 8.1, then it's probably going to be a 64-bit system. So click on this one here. The only exception is that there was a few machines that run Windows 7 that came out as a 32-bit system. So you'd have to click on the 32-bit system. Now, these were generally Median PCs and Dell branded PCs. They often come with a 32-bit version of Windows 7. Now, if you're not sure, what I would suggest is, is click on the 64 bit one, this one here, the one with 64 in it, and give it a try. If it's, if your system's a 32-bit system and you're going to try and run a 64-bit program on there, it will tell you it's not compatible. So come back here and then download the 32. So I think that's a general rule of thumb there is to download the 64-bit first or the one with 64 in it. So left-click the one there with 64 in, unless you're running Windows XP or Windows Vista, and then the chances are you're running the 32-bit system. So you're going to need to click on the 32 one. So the file should be downloading now. Hopefully shouldn't take too long. It should appear hopefully in the bottom left hand corner of the screen in a minute to say it's downloading. There we go. So give it a few seconds. Mine's got about six, five seconds left to go. It is quite a big file. So if you've got a slow connection, it might take some time. Once it's downloaded, we may get this message to say that it was blocked because it could harm your device. Now, don't worry it's not going to harm your device. This is just because it's not a commonly downloaded program and it's not been signed by the publisher, but it, I've checked it out. It is absolutely fine. So what we want to do is we want to click on the three dots just to the right of delete and then click on keep. And then we should get something like this here that says this app might harm your device. Microsoft Defender Smart Screen reported this app is not commonly downloaded or is not signed by its publisher. So click on the arrow just to the right of show more and then click on keep anyway. And then what we want to do is we want to click on show in folder there if you've got it or just go to your downloads folder. Then we want to double click Super Mium, that number beside it, the 122, that might change. That is the version number as of March 2024. If this appears, then click yes. It says, do you want to install Super Mium? Yes. So left click yes. Let it install and hopefully shouldn't take too long. This incidentally, like I say, it's a great browser. It will even allow you to sync your Google account with it as well. So here we've got a couple of options here. Install the Noto emoji font. That's if you want that font. Yeah, let's do it. Create shortcuts for Super Mium. Yep, let's do it. If you don't want Super Mium, meddling with your registry if it wants to if you want it to install its settings in a file then you can click that too but generally i don't think we need to click that but if you if you're not too sure and you think no i don't want it touching the registry then click that but if you're not sure it's okay to just click on okay there so that's now installing there you go super meum setup has successfully completed so click on okay and it might say that it didn't install correctly but OK, I'm going to just click this program install correctly. Now we're back at this screen here, the download screen. So I'm just going to delete this file because it's the install file. I don't need to keep it. If there's uh, if I want to reinstall it again, I can just go back to the website and download it again. So I'm going to right click on that and then left click delete and then left click. Yes. And let's close all this down. So click on the crosses in the top right hand corner of each of the windows. And there we go. We've got Super Mium there, the icon. So let's double click on that. Let's double left click and this will load. And there we go. So it gives us an opportunity here to sign in if we want to. And that's sign into our Google account. So if we were using Google Chrome, we can sign into that and it will bring across 
all of our bookmarks, it'll bring across all of our saved passwords, all of our settings, our, even, even our extensions that we had on the older version of Chrome if we synced it with the cloud. So for the moment, I'm just gonna click don't sign in and it gives us an opportunity here to set as the default browser. I'm gonna skip this at the moment. If you wanna set it as default, you can do, but I think it's probably best to try this out first of all, before you start setting things as default. So I'm gonna click skip on that and let's just open the screen fully by clicking on that middle button just up there in the top right hand corner. And as we can see here, there you go, super meum. And this is basically just like Google Chrome. You've got all the same settings there. In actual fact, if I go into about super meum, this is version 1.22, which is the latest version. It's the latest version of most Chromium browsers, which include Edge and Google Chrome, Opera, etc., Brave browser, etc. Virtually 99% of the browsers out there with the exception of Firefox. And all the same settings are available there. So here in this browser, not only have you got the most advanced features of today on running on an older system, but you've also got the security security of a modern day browser as well. So let's just try and go to a website. I'm just gonna to go to the BBC for instance here, just make sure that loads. Yeah, loads absolutely perfect. Let's go to Google and there we go. The Google search comes up. Um, we can even add Chrome extensions here if we want to. We can go into extensions just there visit the Chrome web store if we want to. Sorry, misclick that. So let's just go to extensions, visit Chrome web store and all the extensions that you know and love in your most common browser are going to be in here. And these are all fully compatible with Super Meum. You've even got themes as well there. So if you want to change the theme of the browser, you can do that. One of the downsides to this is the browser doesn't automatically update when there's a new version of it. You can't even force update it like you can in Chrome and Edge by going to the three dots in the top right hand corner and then about. There is just simply no way of automatically updating or manually doing it through the browser. What you have to do is go back to the website and you can do this from within the browser go to cwtek.co.uk forward slash wd press enter or return on your keyboard and go down and if this comes up then manage your options or confirm your choices and you just go back to here to super meum and let that load, scroll down, and you should see the last time there on the right hand side, the browser was updated and you can just download the latest version from there. And then once it's downloaded, close down your browser. That's very, very important. If you don't close down your browser, it can't update. So let's just wait for it to download. As I can see up there in the top right hand corner, the circle is being filled. Once that circle and that downward arrow disappear, then it should have downloaded. So hopefully it shouldn't take too long. It's quite, quite a big file. So if you've got quite a slow connection, Connection, then it could take some time. So there you go, the circle's nearly complete and hopefully in a second, there you go, You the circle disappears. Now, what you need to do is click on the little folder there, showing folder, and then close down the browser. So what you can do is, if you've got the browser icon down there at the bottom of the screen, move your mouse over it, click on the right hand side of the mouse, and then left click close window or close and that closes it down. And then what you can do is you can then just double click on the download, click yes and click yes again. And then hopefully what it will do is it will overwrite the version that you've got with the latest version and should keep all your settings. So let's just, we don't need to install the font that's already been installed. We don't need to create shortcuts that's already been created. If you installed without modifying the registry before, then tick that box. But if you didn't, leave all three boxes unticked. Click on OK and there you go. It's now set up. Let's just delete that file from the downloads. So right click on it, left click delete, click yes, close this box down and then double click on Super Meum. And there we go, it's gone straight in and uh, it didn't ask us to go through the setup wizard. So there we are, a great 
great browser which has got all the latest features, full security updates for the browser. But even though the browser's got the latest security updates, if you're using a system older than Windows 10 in 2024, then please bear in mind the operating system hasn't got the latest updates. So there are a few backdoors that hackers, scammers, could manage to still get into your system. But obviously using, if you're still using an older system and you are gonna be surfing the internet, then your best chance is to use a browser like this with all the latest security updates and feature updates, because obviously some of the uh, websites now on older browsers just don't load right, they don't look right. In actual fact, on Windows XP, I think in Internet Explorer, a lot of the websites no longer work at all because of the security aspect of them. They reject you if they see that you're running Windows XP and Internet Explorer. So if you have got, like I say, a, a, an older system running Windows XP and it's quite a powerful one, then this would be a good alternative for you if you're unable to upgrade your system to a more modern one. Well, I hope you like this video and if it helped, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or have a look down below in the description if you're in the market for a VPN, Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube or Fire Stick accessories or even just want to have a look through my Amazon shop. There's loads of great links down there for you. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos whilst you're looking around that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might be interested in, then please don't forget to share these on your social media timelines. If you want to check me out on Twitter, or X as it's now known, then I'm at CWTEK. Or if you want to have a look at my website, it's CWTEK.co.uk. And now you've got a new browser, you can do that. Thanks for watching. Speak to you again soon.